guys, this is Freya. I know it's been a while, but I'm back and here's my next video and this one's about breath support, so stay tuned. Okay, so I already talked to you about correct posture and correct breathing. Now, what's really also important is your breath support. You always hear about breathe with your diaphragm, so I'm going to tell you what this all means. Your lungs are located right here underneath your ribs. And uh, if you put your hands right around here, around your ribs, and you breathe in and out, you will notice that your ribs move as you breathe in and out. That's because the lungs, you know, they inflate, they get bigger, and when they deflate, they get smaller again. They fill way there and they empty out again. So you, what you want to do while you're singing is you want to have as much control as possible about how the air goes out of your lungs. You don't want to waste it. You don't want to just kind of, and it's gone. You want to really economically breathe out. In order to do that, we'll do the following exercise. I call it the lid, okay? Whenever you breathe in, try to take a deep breath in as if you were going for a dive and you wanted to hold your breath for a really long time. And then there's a lid. It's called the glottis. It's, it's a mechanism where you could just close off your air passages so no air goes out. So do this with me. Breathe in and then hold your breath with your mouth open, but put the lid on. Okay. Now, you don't really use, want to use that lid when you're singing too much. Um, when everybody's Whenever anybody tells you not to attack to with a glottis, then they mean don't use like ah, uh, eh, ooh. That's really hard. You want to do that sometimes, but most of the time you don't want to use the glottis too much. You want to keep those air passages open and flowing. Okay? So in order to do that, do that breathing in and holding your breath while fully breathed in without putting that lid on, without closing up the glottis, and keep your mouth open. Okay? Do this with me. Hold your breath. And keep that passage open. <sighs> okay, let go. You will notice that you will really have to use your abdominal muscles in order to keep the air in. Otherwise, whenever you let go of those muscles, the air would just immediately go out. Now when you sing, you want to let the air out as slowly as possible. Also what helps me um, is the picture of try to imagine as if you were blowing air through a really, really thin straw. So there's some resistance. The air won't just pass through easily, but you have to use a lot of pressure for the air to come through. That's kind of the feeling that I think of whenever I want to sing long passages. So I just imagine I blow through this really, really tiny hole and just a little bit of air goes through. This way my air lasts a lot, a lot longer as if I were just kind of let it out all at once. So that was the first exercise and I'll show you another one. Okay, for the next exercise you need a sturdy wall. Put your hands against the wall and just um, make sure that you don't kind of lean over too much or backwards. Try to keep your torso pretty straight and then put your hands against the wall and push. Now first of all, without singing, just push it, push as if you were just wanting to push away the wall. Okay, so push, 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 and if you, if you try to speak or anything, you will notice it's really hard because using all your body strength. Also, you will notice that you have to really, really contract your abdominal muscles and your back, like all those muscles in your body, in order to do that because you need your strength. Now try to do that while singing. If you ever have a really hard and high passage that you want to sing, try to do that exercise while you're singing and push the wall while you're trying to hit that really high note. Like so. What that will do is that, you know, it will make you contract your abdominal muscles, which activates your support. So I hope this exercise has helped you a little bit. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. If you like my videos, do subscribe and uh, hope to see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye.